These are Izzy's chickens. They've got fresh water and a full thing of feed, but there's something that they don't have that they're gonna need to be able to lay lots of eggs this winter. This is what's gonna help Izzy's chickens lay eggs this winter, and this is what's gonna make it easier to use. Gonna be some ritzy chickens, huh, Izzy? Ritzy? It means it's gonna be like fancy, fancy chickens. Yeah. So we plug this timer into the extension cord that's gonna go out to Izzy's chicken pen. Plug these lights into the timer, and we can set this to go on and off at whatever time of the day we want. Izzy's got a small flock of Easter egg or chickens. They lay green and blue eggs. And it's really fun because this is a money making thing for him. And what I'm able to do is put like an egg or two in each dozen that I sell at the store where we sell the eggs from our main flock. But since this is a money making thing for him, he needs to be getting as many eggs as possible, especially during the winter. And I hear so many people talking about how they're only getting like three eggs out of their 10 chickens during the winter. That is not enough eggs for the amount of feed that you're giving them. So we've got an outlet here over on the side of the house, extension cord. Gonna run it over here to Izzy's chicken coop. The other thing that we wanna do so that this extension cord isn't just out in the elements all winter long, is put it through a pipe over to Izzy's chicken pen. All right, Izzy, let's see if we can find enough pipe in here. I think maybe I used some for some other stuff. New plan! So I used to actually have some gray pipe to go from that outlet over there to be able to plug in Izzy's heated water thing, but I think I used it for something. So we're gonna use this tile stuff here. Hey, that's my coffee! He hit my coffee. It's a honey bear latte. It is insanely delicious. Espresso with cocoa, honey, and vanilla. It tastes like a honey bear. Mm. Necessity is the mother of invention. A good fish tape would be good for this, but I don't have one. Oh, it's not quite there. Oh, I got it. Now, obviously this is not the way I would recommend hooking up electrical things, duct tape on the outside of a house, on an extension cord, but it's what we got to work with. Obviously it'd be nice if we just had electric to that thing, but we don't, but this will work. So for optimal laying for chickens, you want at least around 15 hours of daylight, 14 to 16, somewhere in there. Now, one thing about it though, is it is best to give them the light in the morning to let them go to bed as it gets dark in the evening. The problem with this one is since there's trees over this, and not much light can get into the inside of this coop here, they're not gonna get a lot of natural light back here. So in my big hoop house down there, I had the light come on at five in the morning, then it turns off at like nine in the morning because it's plenty bright in there during the day because it's just a hoop house. And then I let them to go to bed with the natural daylight turning off. With this, I'm afraid if I would turn this off in the middle of the day, it would just be dark inside this coop then all day. So I'm gonna make these so that they get up at five and go to bed at eight. I want light in here, but I don't want it too bright in here because I do still want the chickens to feel like they've got their privacy to lay eggs. They really like a darker place to lay their eggs. I might have Izzy even put a curtain over these nests. That would probably be the best. One of the things you want to watch out for when you're getting lights for your chicken coop is say you get a more yellower light, a really white light, and especially a fluorescent light is not going to have as much of the right light spectrum in it that encourages them to lay eggs. I just got these on Amazon. I got the timer on Amazon, really simple. I'll put links for those in the description of this video. Video. And if you want something that's a little more official, a little better, I'm going to show you what we've got out in our big chicken coop.
My chickens are in the process of being moved from their summer pasture life into the winter housing, that hoop house right there. And that is something you always wanna remember if you have two separate situations for them where you've got them on summer pasture and then winter housing, you wanna move them into their winter housing slowly. Take a little time. So this setup will be here for about two weeks, one to two weeks. Basically what you wanna do is make so it's just not a real shock that they just all of a sudden are put from one place to another, it stresses them out and they stop laying eggs. This is their winter hoop house. They've got lots of perch space, got lots of nest boxes and their food and water. And the lights right here above me, that is what comes on at five o'clock in the morning. This thing is plenty bright. Got white plastic over the top so that they're not getting just tons of really concentrated sunlight like through clear plastic that's actually not good for them but the white plastic still lets a lot of sun through and then it's got roll-ups on the sides so i used to have to come out to my barn and there was a light switch right here that i have to try to turn on and off at like the exact same time every morning and evening so that they would get the right amount of daylight because if you got too much fluctuation that's another place for stress. This is actually the same brand as that one that I got for Izzy's chicken pen, but this is a built-in switch. So I replaced the light switch with this timer. It's got the on time and off time, and you can program it with daylight savings time, and it works awesome for giving those chickens the exact amount of daylight they need every day during the winter. So they lay the most eggs they possibly can.